in the last video, what I saw was uh, that there's a queue for a reading list that I'm going to be assigned. And when I work on a reading list, it's going to have a list of citations and statuses that I can change. And I can filter to look at specific types of items that are on that list. So uh, in this case, I'm going to look for uh, things that are waiting for approval that have a digitization component. So uh, I have this one item here on this list that says copyright status waiting for approval. So I'm going to click on that. And it tells me that, uh, again, quick summary, this is the book. It's going to be 23 pages that I'm going to be dealing with. Um, and it says waiting for copyright clearance. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to work on that. Now, uh, just before I do, just as, as a note, we, we often uh, need to send things for copyright clearance if they exceed the fair dealing guidelines. Um, uh, and sometimes we can scan things in house if they, we think that falls within the bounds of uh, copyright. So if I click work on, um, it's going to tell me a little bit more information about this request. So obviously I'll need to have some more information about the book um, and maybe I'll need to go to the shelves and get the physical item just like we would have before so I know like how many pages are in this, um, how much of this book is being copied, uh, and all of that kind of information that's important to know. So in this case we're just going to take a look and see um, the pages that they've requested are 22 to 44 and I know that's uh, 23 pages and I can then sort of make an assessment as to whether this is something that needs to go to copyright clearance or if it's something that we can scan. Um, so assuming that this is okay, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to click uh, approve for this particular item. And again, I could hit reject if I you know, thought it was in excess. So every time we approve something, we have to select why we're approving it. And it's good to have a paper trail for these copyright issues. So it could be that it's covered by a license. It could be a legal exception. It could be lots of things. Um, so in this case, um, there is no specific uh, option here for fair dealing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select other, and I'm going to, in the notes, say fair dealing. Hopefully in the future this is updated so that one of the reasons can be fair dealing that is selected. And I'll hit submit. Okay, so you can see that the status is now approved and we've basically done what we needed to do with this. So I'm going to go back to the request lists and you can see now um, there's nothing waiting for approval. So we've approved this. And now I'm going to hit all so that we go back to our full list and see all of the items on our citation list. Okay, so the copyright status here, you know, it says approved at this point. Um, but we have to still actually do the work of scanning and making the file available. So if I were to uh, click on this item, oops, sorry, if I were to work on this item or edit it, and I scroll down to the bottom, you can see that there's a place to add a file. So I'm gonna click that, and I'm just gonna pick um, an arbitrary uh, item here that I can add. So let's pick that one and hit open. And now you can see there's a progress bar that is adding this file to the record. So if you scan something, uh, a small portion of a book to make it be made available, you would, that's where you go to upload the file. And then uh, you would hit save. So now, when I go back here, I can see that there is, in addition to the physical book that we have, there's other. And in this tape, it's a file, and there's the file that I uploaded. So at this stage, um, we're assuming the work on this particular citation is done. So I've checked the copyright request for scanning, um, and I've, in this case, assumed that it would be okay and it would fall within the fair dealing guidelines, so I've approved it, and then I've actually uploaded the file that was scanned, and now that file will be available to students in the class, and that's it.